the photovoltaic or the PV cell converts sunlight directly into electricity. Now obviously the PV cell is the most basic or fundamental component of any PV power plant. Here we will um, see an overview of the basic operation of a PV cell. Now surely this is not intended to be a detailed discussion on the semiconductor physics of the PV cell but more to um, just enough to understand the model that we are going to develop for the PV cell. The model we will use is the single diode based model and uh, this model can be used to uh, analyze the characteristics of a PV cell under different uh, environmental and uh, electrical conditions. So we can uh, use this model to uh, for example understand this mechanism of ma maximum power tracking to uh, design and compare different uh, maximum power tracking algorithms and, uh, and to uh, design the uh, input stage of an inverter that directly interfaces with the uh, PV system and, uh, and also suddenly to simulate the entire PV plant including the details of the PV cell characteristics. Now there are three key requirements for uh, electric power generation from sunlight. The first is um, a material that can absorb the sunlight energy and create carriers, electrons. The second is the a process to facilitate the movement of these electrons through the external circuit to produce current. And third is the um, is a large enough voltage to um, to produce um, usable power. Now most PV cells are made of uh, two layers of uh, semiconductors a p-type or a p-doped uh, layer together with an n-type or an n-doped layer forming a p-n junction. The metal grid or the metal strips on either end provide the electrical contact between the semiconductor material and the external circuit and uh, PV cells also have this anti-reflective coating to um, minimize the energy loss due to reflection. Now the uh, n-type material has a higher concentration of uh, electrons E okay. and uh, so these electrons tend to diffuse towards the uh, p-type material and uh, similarly the p-type has a higher concentration of holes and uh, they tend to diffuse towards the n-type where there is low concentration of holes. Now the movement of electrons from the n-type leaves behind uh, positively charged ions, positive ions. Similarly, the movement of the holes from the p-type tend to leave negatively charged ions. Now, this concentra concentration of positive and negative ions on the n-type and p-type respectively produces an electric field around the junction called the uh, depletion region. Okay. And there is also a voltage uh, produced called the built-in potential or uh, B B I, the built-in potential. It is uh, this electric field, um, positive here and minuses here, which um, facilitates the movement of the carriers through the external circuit and not um, completely lost in recombination. The main basis of uh, photovoltaic power generation is the uh, creation of um, charge carriers, electrons, by uh, photons of uh, sufficient energy content uh, from the sunlight. Now, uh, when the energy of the incident photon from the sunlight is higher than the energy of the band gap of the material, then it can um, release an electron from the valence band into the conduction band and in the process forming a, a free electron hole pair. And this happens both in the n-type as well as in the p-type material. Okay, so here the red indicates the electron and the blue is the hole. Now, uh, if not for the electric field at the p-n junction, the uh, light created electrons and holes would um, randomly move through the um, uh, semiconductor material and recombine before um, doing any before producing any usable energy. Now, in a PV cell, the light generated um, carriers, the electrons and holes, they are separated by the electric field at the p-n junction which prevents this uh, premature recombination. So, for example, if the uh, hole reaches the uh, p-n junction, 
it is actually swept across the PN junction into the P-type layer by the electric field at the junction. Similarly, if the electron reaches the PN junction, it is actually swept back into the n-type material by the same field and that electron goes through the external circuit. And that is what is shown in this uh, animation. So watch the electron being pushed by the junction and the hole into the p-type and after the electron comes they recombine after going through the external circuit. Similarly in other pair, the electron pushed into the n-type uh, hole into the p-type and they recombine after the electron has gone through the load. I will run this again. Okay, the other pair in the p-type electron push into the load. So we have seen the first two requirements having been met. The first one is the um, creation of these um, charge carriers electron and hole pair by absorbing the um, photon energy. And the second one is the separation, separation of charges enabling the movement of the charge carrier, the electron, through the external circuit. And the third requirement is a large enough voltage uh, to produce power at the, at the load. Now in a PV cell, this voltage is generated by the photovoltaic effect. So essentially, because of the separation of charges at the PN junction, there is a, a larger number of electrons on the n-type and a large number of holes on the p-type. This produces uh, a, an electric field which is in opposition to the electric field originally existing at the p-n junction. Now, because of this net reduction in the electric field, there is um, a more diffusion current uh, between the between the two layers, leading to a new equilibrium in which um, a voltage exists uh, uh, at the junction. Now this is very similar to uh, what happens in a forward bias of a PN junction. And um, now in a PN diode, for example, the forward bias is created by an externally applied voltage, whereas in a PV application, this forward bias condition is created by the light generated carriers. So the current flowing in the external circuit is then the difference between the light generated current and the forward bias current and the uh, voltage is produced by uh, by this forward bias in uh, in this polarity as indicated um, okay. and uh, and this condition uh, actually gives us the model for the pv cell consisting of um, a light generated current source um, in parallel with the uh, with the pn diode um, forward biased and uh, for those who are interested in a detailed discussion of the semiconductor physics of uh, PV cell operation, uh, I will highly recommend uh, this website by uh, ASU faculty, the PV CD ROM website. Okay, so this then is our model of an ideal PV cell. So it is modeled as a, a light generated current source and uh, uh, the, the value of this current source depends on the level of solar irradiance. So this current source in parallel with the PN diode. Okay. So the characteristics of this PN diode we will discuss in the next slide. And the final current that goes to the external circuit, this I, is therefore the difference between the I photon, the light generated current, and the forward bias current into the diode. And the voltage across the external circuit is uh, is V. Now this is, um, is not a perfect model, uh, but this is a good compromise between uh, model accuracy and model com model complexity. Now there are several other PV cell models, uh, those involving, for example, two diodes. Um, but the one that we are going to use, the single diode based model, uh, as I said, represents um, for our uh, requirements the best um, compromise between accuracy and um, and complexity. Uh, especially when we include um, some of the non-idealities, the parasitic uh, series and shunt resistance in uh, later slides of, uh, of this video. Now, this model, as I mentioned at the beginning, is, uh, is useful for understanding the voltage current and the power voltage characteristics of the PV and for use in um, um, 
in comparing different um, maximum power point tracking algorithms um, in order to be able to simulate um, many different environmental conditions and its effect on the PV cell, therefore the entire PV power system. Okay, so we are already past the uh, 10 minute mark, so I'm going to um, take up the rest of the slides in this uh, PV cell model to, uh, uh, to another video.